someone listen to in the car. Tell us when it starts cutting into the new record. Which one's it on? Right, what we're going to do is we grab a 7 inch disc pen here and we'll polish it up. So I'll bugger off down the other end and we should give it some kind of space and peel the stuff off each side. How much space do we need? We're in the right spot. We're in the corridor. Come on down. Mr. King. As he walks in. I'll try not to trip over everybody, I'm a wee bit stuck up because I'm the eye, but I'll just go through and do what I do. It's a bit of oil down in there, so I've mixed oil and vegetable oil, which is on the CD factories, and a little bit of um, turtle wax. So this is your mix? What? You, yeah. <laughs> this is your wax and oil, your wax yeah. and vegetable oil mix. That goes on the side right. of it, it's just like that. Really simple and fast. Pre got grooves cut into it already? Thank you. It, is this, this has already got grooves cut in? Nothing. No, this is, Nothing. This is flat. absolutely flat. Virgin. Absolutely Virgin. flat. Like, yeah, like glass. Wow. And all I'm doing is just polishing it or impregnating it into the surface of the disc. Wow. And that is ready to go now. And it's just like glass on the top. You can probably see like plain glass. You can actually probably see the little where it's being polished too in the yeah. sun. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. In the sun yeah. there. Yeah. You can't see yourself yeah. on both sides. Um, and now we're gonna we're gonna go on to BBC One. That's this machine here. What's the latest news? It's, it's running at 33 and a third degree at the minute. But um, the light there is giving me the timing. Now that's running s slightly slow. As it's coming around here, it means that the machine is actually still warming up. Sweet. And I'm just putting it in. How does that light thing work? Is that the frequency of your eyes? This here. Yeah. When you um, tell the speed, you can tell the speed. It's the same as same as this light bulb here. So <coughs> work it up. The, re the, reason, the reason it's here is if you put your hand under there, it's really warm. And over a period of the day, it's like keeping it, it's making the disc warm. Yeah, yeah. But that frequency of that light is the same as yeah that one there. It's just that I'm just using it to heat it, heat up the disc. And um, what was the visual cue? That but you can you tell? Yeah, how do you know you've got it heated up still? How do you know it's still warming up? The speed, you said something about oh, looking the, at the oh, speed. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, yes, yes. Like a white um, the mechanics <coughs> down under here. Like, see, even the belt is not perfectly round yet. See how it's, it's humping out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, once it's warm, once that electric motor's warm, and that's quite smooth, it means it's actually ready to go and the speed will actually be slightly faster and that will become still. What's that there? See, okay. it's strobing. Okay, show us that. It's strobing. How's like, it doing that? Like railway tracks. And it should be perfectly black. So illusion. It should be perfectly black on yeah, because of how do you create yeah. that optical illusion? The Just difference. by the distance between each, each black mark as opposed to the white. Um, which is coordinated with your eye. I'll, I'll yeah. slow it down, watch this. See it slowing now? And the top one will go still. And that's 33 and a third. That one there is 45 reams. So if I, if I put it on 45 reams. Ah, oh, you just put it a bit lower for the 45. Yeah, see, see. Now that guy's still, yeah. It's actually, yep. it's actually nearly perfect on the 45. Yeah. Because I've just tightened the belt, but, just, excuse me, if I leave the machine running for for probably five minutes, the 33 and a third would have come right. And now, you can oh. feel the vibrations through there, but you don't put your finger on there, because no, it's on the wee hole, no, no. and then you'll start bleeding. Okay, so that's actually a bloody record. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's actually vibrating from what? Oh yeah. What's the called? sound. Where's it getting the sound input from? The sound is coming Wait in. second, Ed. Wires? From amp the amplifier. Through a wire? Yes. Yeah. I can't feel it moving very much at all. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. You'll be able what to do you want? The Tell sound Tell on What do you want? Oh, yeah. Do you want the volcano out the back to go off? <laughs> <laughs> did you feel the, did you feel the vibrations, Rod? Rod, did you feel it vibrating? Yes. Actually, it needs I'm to go up a wee bit. I'm very sensitive. Wow. Yeah, you might have just put it up a wee bit in volume. Yeah. Can you, could you feel it vibrating? 
You know the most sensitive part of your body, don't you, Riker? Yeah, it's your ears. It's your ears. You're masturbating, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, more you. Yeah. Great soundtrack, isn't it? I'd have to say your internal <laughs> organs are much more Driving through the landscape with a big net. <laughs> <laughs> like some giant sort of chicken bird thing. <laughs> They've got analog right. and digital readout, you see. Right, what, what I'll do is just put it off on the car. So if you just put it to the analog that we don't know. Yeah. 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 Okay. Get this on kind of close up if you can. Well, what I'm doing is a thing called a, a, a worm in groove. I'm putting it down and then just worming it into position. And how much pressure did you apply to it then? None. It's got its own weight. It's a certain All range, right. and that's its back weight. So you can actually finally adjust how much pressure is going down to cut the little groove in the dust. Um, Wicked. It's making the noise now. It yeah, doesn't pick up any vibrations from us talking? Or? No, no. Heavy but if we jump up and down on the floor, yeah. it'll actually... You get a scratch in your record. You'll, you'll actually hear it. In the record, um, the floor, the big sound. banging sounds. You can actually hear it coming through. Yeah, and apparently some of the big record factories like EMI and that, they used to be able to hear the presses operating while they're trying to cut the masters. Really? Wow. Yeah. So they're difficult to they'd actually shut down some of it. You know, until they separate. EMI the is just losing to losing the knowledge of the know-how to use technology that our forefathers invented and like people <laughs> haven't been learning how to do it and so we don't even know how to operate record presses <laughs> properly man yeah. but um I, I do a digital readout and an analog readout which means it gives me a, a, a good so this picture. is stopped so this is cutting grooves now yeah, yeah time and, and it goes through this, this, time this it goes through this eq this. curve as well doesn't it so the base frequencies are attenuated. it's it's the, it's the, the the graphic equaliser, that's because of the base frequencies have to be mm -hmm. come to that, that oh, curve. The equalisation yeah. is different than a flat response. You actually, um, you, you've got a, a special curve there that it has to be. Um, that's why I have to be reasonably careful with the high end. You know how I was talking about so, the S's and symbols and all this kind of thing? Yeah. They're accentuated, so you've got to be really careful with how much volume you put in there as well. Like the witch, some kind of bass sounds might make a problem so, or anything. Uh, no, the trebles. <laughs> the really high ones. Yeah. So yeah. things like that. We're, we're going to have. <laughs> you remember what I said when we got the one of the CDs and we had to put it in the top of the case? Uh, yep. <laughs> so it'll take me a while to master that because it was very, uh, very high end. And that will be. high frequencies. Above yeah. like. Um, you know the name of the frequency? It's above like above 16,000. About that. Anything yeah. 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 Up in there. Yeah. Uh, well, like, above there. Yeah. Well, like that doesn't say. It's a go. Weeds. No. Yeah, it's almost. Um, how much would that be up there? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. you know, fourteen thousand cycles, man. Yeah, it's it, It's borderline on. Are we guessing? Actually, yes, we are guessing. <laughs> I'll say 40k. So what, 20, 20, 20, and the human can't hear it anymore, right? 20,000 per, per, per go, so what? the human can't hear it, right? Yeah, well, I don't know exactly where this is coming out, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right? area. Good people. Yeah, I've never actually what if you could that, record radio, radio waves on something like that? No, your head, system. your head would go on fire. Because smoke you call radio. You, 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 we called radio. <laughs> record, record, whack radio. <laughs> <laughs> record, I didn't want to get a wax rust as well. Yeah, the question <laughs> is how sensitive? How sensitive can you make the needle? Can yeah. you make it sensitive to the vibrations of the brain? You know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Master craftsman. <laughs> <laughs> like to non-visible, non-audible sound. Is your name Riker or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a certain it's name. I'm in heaven here. Yeah. <laughs> you get up to that broadcasting part and you can't hear it by the human ear. That is quite right. You get to a certain. And that's where, where dogs are good, aren't they? When you're whistling, they can pick up that vibe. Yeah. Mm.